Walkie-talkies and solar equipment exploded in Beirut and multiple parts of Lebanon on Wednesday in an apparent second wave of attacks targeting electronic devices. At least nine people were killed and more than 300 people wounded in the second wave, the health ministry said. This comes a day after hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah blew up, state media and Hezbollah officials said. The attacks, which were widely believed to be carried out by Israel targeting Hezbollah, have hiked fears that the two-side simmering conflict could escalate into all-out war. The new blasts hit a country still roiling with confusion and anger after Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to be a complex Israeli attack targeting Hezbollah members that caused civilian casualties, too. Tuesday's bombings killed at least 12 people, including two children and wounded some 2,800 others. The second wave also deepens concern over the potentially indiscriminate casualties caused in the attacks, in which hundreds of blasts went off wherever the holder of the pager happened to be, in homes, cars, at grocery stores and in cafes, often with family or bystanders nearby. In Baalbek, several wounded were rushed to the hospital following the explosions. Iran-backed Hezbollah, Lebanon's strongest armed force, and Israel's military have exchanged fire almost daily since October 8, the day after a deadly Hamas-led assault in southern Israel triggered the war in Gaza. Since then, hundreds have been killed in strikes in Lebanon and dozens in Israel, while tens of thousands on each side of the border have been displaced. Lebanon's health ministry said on Wednesday at least nine people were killed and over 300 were wounded on Wednesday as electronic devices exploded in multiple regions of country. The blasts happened a day after an apparent attack targeting pagers used by Hezbollah killed at least 12 and wounded nearly 3,000. On a busy street in the southern city of Sidon, dozens of people and first responders gathered by a cell phone shop that caught fire after an explosion. Several ambulances were also present but it was unclear if there any casualties. Multiple explosions went off on Wednesday at the site of a funeral for three Hezbollah members and a child killed by exploding pagers the day before, according to Associated Press journalists at the scene. Hezbollah's Al Mana TV reported explosions in multiple areas of Lebanon, and a Hezbollah official told the Associated Press that walkie-talkies used by the group exploded as part of blasts heard in Beirut. The official spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to the media. There was no immediate detail on casualties. The new blasts happened with Lebanon still thrown into confusion and anger after the Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to target Hezbollah members. At least 12 people were killed, including two children, and some 2,800 people wounded as hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah members began detonating in several parts of Lebanon and in Syria.
يا جماعة الخير بطارية الليثيوم فجرت بقلب الرباد 